Really nice out there across the Susquehanna Valley. Lots of sunshine and we're warming up. We're above 70 degrees already at the lunch hour in York sitting right now at 71 with a light breeze out of the west. Heading through the day today, News 8 Storm Team forecast. There will be a little bit of extra cloud cover this afternoon thanks to a weak disturbance moving over towards Erie and Du Bois. That actually may trigger an isolated shower in northern portions of Dauphin County closer towards Sealands Grove. But I do expect temperatures to warm up nicely back up to near 80 degrees across much of the Susquehanna Valley. Overnight tonight expect mostly clear skies. Humidity stays in check tonight. Temperatures will fall to the 50s and then it starts to get a little sticky as we head through tomorrow and we're back into the upper 80s and some spots will see their first 90 degree day for the year. And there also is a chance for a few isolated thunderstorms thanks to the higher humidity and also just how warm will be some pop up showers not out of the question. In terms of the earliest, this is certainly uh, uh, before average, you know, average first 90 degree day for the Susquehanna Valley is June 1st. The earliest ever in a year was back on April 17th, back in 1896 and also in 2002. Weather and health today, the pollen count remains high. It's the trees and the grasses that are out there and the UV index is sitting at a seven. So you could burn about 25 minutes if you're outside for that long of time. Winds are relatively light. That's why the air quality is a little on the poor side. Right now it's 72 degrees in Lancaster, the same in Carlisle and 71 in Chambersburg, but we're warming into the mid 70s back towards Elkins. So we have that weak disturbance I'm keeping an eye on. It is going to run to the drier air sitting overhead, so I think it just gives us some passing clouds, but an isolated shower cannot be ruled out. High pressure will continue to slide offshore, and that's going to really put bring in the winds from the south, and we're going to start to see that humidity ramp up as we head through tomorrow as temperatures will be near 90 degrees. I do expect us to be in the 90s area wide as we head through the day on Thursday, and it's going to be sticky. It's going to feel more like Memorial Day or Jul like July 4th uh, than mid-May as we head through Thursday. Cold front will start to approach the region as we head into Thursday. Could see an isolated shower late Thursday night, but better chances for a few passing showers will return to the area on Friday, and then temperatures will start to slack off. So 80 today, upper 80s to near 90 degrees tomorrow, I think will be area wide, will be uh, at or above 90 degrees. And and then as we head through Friday, temperatures start to cool with a few passing showers. We're back to near seasonal averages as cooler air builds in just in time for the weekend, but certainly feeling more like summer.